Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Kai here from Tic Tac Toe. And today's episode, we are going to do a comparison, a versus series, if you will, on several very popular virtual uh, meeting platforms. For example, MS Teams, Zoom, as well as Discord. We are going to put all of these popular platforms to the test, especially on one very important feature, which is the noise cancellation. Microsoft Teams has recently made an update which they included a background noise removal so we'll have to put that to the test with every other popular ones and eventually we'll find out at the end which of these popular platforms has the best background noise removal feature and just for the fun of it i'm going to throw in two other extra software just to make it as a control number one nvidia's broadcast number two Chris software uh, which i've already made a video on you can check out the link at the either the description box below or over wait over here so without further ado let's get into the desktop let's first fire up microsoft teams all right so we've powered on microsoft teams and right now what you're hearing is with the background noise suppression enabled and i've also gotten two fans over here one on my right and one on my left they are both blowing into my face and theoretically the background noise removals uh, feature will block out this sound i've also stand by stand by a vacuum cleaner a handheld one this is from samsung and it's quite loud so i'm just going to turn it on okay it's on and theoretically again it shouldn't pick out the noise and just to give you a comparison, I'm just going to turn off the background noise removal and the vacuum is on and the fan, both of the fans blowing straight into my face. How about that? All right, now we are in Zoom and I've already turned on the background noise removal feature and I've already set it to high. So again, the fan that is blowing right into my face is not probably picked up and whatever that i'm whatever that's going around me especially the traffic right outside the window is not being picked up as well let's just turn that off all right and now it's off so you can probably hear a little breeze from the fan and i've already gotten of course my trusty uh handheld vacuum power is on so this is with the background noise removal uh, low at the lowest setting because you cannot turn it off and let's get this back to high and now it is high and going back to low going back to high all right now we are on this chord and we're going to try out the noise suppression. So right now the noise suppression is on, so you cannot pick out the fans or this vacuum that I just on at the background. Cannot hear anything probably. And now the noise suppression is off. And again, the vacuum is on, the fans blowing into my face. How's that? let me just give some verdict on what i think uh, on the audio quality and how well the noise suppression is on each platform now firstly on ms teams spoken dialogue is clear uh, although i hear a little bit of scratchy sound on the top end the higher frequencies of the audio but it does a very impressive job in blocking out uh, the background noise and then on zoom the quality of my voice degrades a little bit. Uh, it sounds very thin when the noise suppression is at the highest. And at the highest setting, you can still hear the vacuum noise a bit. Uh, it's just a bit actually. And I think it's something which we all can live with. On Discord, I hear that my voice is again, uh, quite thin. And this mic that I'm using the road pot mic usually gives me a boost on the lower frequencies, making it a bit bassy and adds a little bit of body. But you don't hear that in the recording. And as soon as I turn on the vacuum at 
at my background at the back, uh, my voice got much, much thinner and it begins to distort. And in Discord, when the noise suppression is off or when it just accidentally goes off, there is another layer of noise reducer which gets automatically turned on for no apparent reason. I don't know what's happening. But uh, that is also why you could hear the vacuum noise uh, that was being picked up. It became intermittent. It's not full. It's just some bits of the noise that got picked up. Assassin's Creed Valhalla is my favorite Assassin's Creed, which is saying something considering it's a series that spans 23 games. It builds on the already excellent RPG foundations laid by Origins and Odyssey, but with meaningful improvements that iron out many of the frustrations I had with both games. Assassin's Creed Valhalla is my favorite Assassin's Creed, which is saying something considering it's a series that spans 23 games. It builds on the already excellent RPG foundations laid by Origins and Odyssey, but with meaningful improvements that iron out many of the frustrations I had with both games. Assassin's Creed Valhalla is my favorite Assassin's Creed, which is saying something considering it's a series that spans 23 games. It builds on the already excellent RPG foundations laid by Origins and Odyssey, but with meaningful improvements that iron out many of the frustrations I had with both games. Assassin's Creed Valhalla is my favorite Assassin's Creed, which is saying something considering it's a series that spans 23 games. It builds on the already excellent RPG foundations laid by Origins and Odyssey, but with meaningful improvements that iron out many of the frustrations I had with both games. Assassin's Creed Valhalla is my favorite Assassin's Creed, which is saying something considering it's a series that spans 23 games. It builds on the already excellent RPG foundations laid by Origins and uh, Odyssey, but with meaningful improvements that iron out many of the frustrations I had with both games. Uh, from the reading test, this is my verdict. The entire time that I was reading the paragraph from PC Gamer's review of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, oh, by the way, you need to play Valhalla because it's such an awesome game. I have two fans tune in to the highest speed and they were both blowing into my face straight into my face and the mic over here on ms teams wow i'm honestly impressed with the audio quality uh, it does not recreate my voice at all and it keeps a very nice balance to the overall body of my voice i uh, totally love that and i wasn't expecting microsoft to shine in this on discord there is clarity, uh, you, you got to admit there is some uh, semblance of clarity, but also it appears rather thin. Uh, there's not much body that you can detect. The noise suppression capability is decent. I put Discord as my second pick in this list. Zoom, well, I was rather disappointed because I had high hopes for Zoom's uh, noise suppression, but it turns out at the during the reading test, the audio got a little bit degraded, very thin sounding and there's some distortion going on. Don't know what's happening, but I am not a fan of uh, what Zoom has achieved in the noise suppression department. And for that, I am picking Zoom's noise suppression feature uh, last in this list. So on Chris, uh, you could hear that the overall noise suppression feature is quite good. Uh, it does actually make my voice a little thinner, uh, slightly thinner, not too crazy. On NVIDIA broadcast, it retains the body and the depth of the Rode port mic over here. It doesn't degrade the quality at all, which is super impressive. A uh, very nice sound overall, and it blocks out the background noise as well. But overall, I think we need to take a moment to just appreciate the AI or the artificial intelligence at play over here because it has evolved to a position where it can help us tremendously, uh, especially when virtual meetings are the normal way to conduct meetings these days. And it has done a really great job in helping us to achieve uh, our delivery better, our meetings better, and not to get ingrained or not to get embroiled in whatever is happening at the background, especially noise from the TV or from people arguing, from renovation, traffic, so on and so forth. It has helped us uh, tremendously. 
all right guys i hope this has been a very helpful video uh, for you to see and compare uh, the noise suppression capability on these very three popular platforms i hope it can make you decide or rather give you an informed uh, decision on which one to tap on uh, i'm currently using a lot of Microsoft Teams and I'm really, really happy that they've brought this integration, this noise suppression integration into MS Teams as well. So, and the fact that it just got released two days ago or three days ago, very recently, makes me really, really happy. All right, guys, if you do like this video, do hit the like button. And if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing to this channel and to hit the bell notification button to be notified on a future video that we might be putting out soon so i'll see you in the next one keep cool and uh, bye